Well, we're going to find out more about a trip overseas to France and Belgium by 27 Ohio Northern U University students and four faculty members joining us today. We've got ONU Assistant Professor of History, David Stripmatter, and a familiar face. He's been on the edition before. And then we have an ONU Senior Pharmacy Major, Leah Carnegie, in to join us. She went on the trip. So thank you both for joining us today. Yeah. Thanks, Holly. Well, David, let's start with you. Um, tell us about the trip and, and the background of, of why you chose France and Belgium to take the students. Uh, well, this trip was part of a semester-long class. This, the class was called World War Memory in Normandy in the Western Front. And uh, part of the trip, I guess the highlight of the class was this spring break trip. So in early March, uh, we went over for, for 10 days. So. Uh, we started in Paris, and then we went east to the Western Front, uh, and then we doubled back to hit the uh, Normandy coast. Mm -hmm. Wow, some really impactful areas, I think. Leah, tell us about what, what impacted you most, what moved you most on the trip, and maybe even why did you want to go as a pharmacy major? Yeah, um, so I took French in high school, actually, so I've always had an interest in going. My mom got to go right before I was born, so I've seen the pictures. I've always wanted to go and um, so as a, it was more of an opportunity to go to another country. I didn't really need the credit. I already had the credit for the history class. So um, that was more it. And when we were over there, I think the most impactful part was just getting to see like all these battlefields that you've heard about throughout all of your history classes. And they seem like they're just pictures when you're in class, but actually going and getting to see them and realize, wow, it's still here. It, it still looks like a battlefield after so many years. It's just really crazy. Yeah, I mean, as you said, it still looks like a battlefield. And right before you guys went, the war in Ukraine started. So did you think about, you know, all the destruction there and how that's going to last for years when you're there looking at, at what wars have done to that, those countries you were visiting? Yeah, not when we first left, because obviously it didn't really process until after we were there for a couple of days that this is how Ukraine could look. This is how Ukraine's going to look. And it was just kind of crazy, so. Right, I bet. So David, I mean, the timing was kind of wild when it, you know, this war in Ukraine started and you guys were there. Um, how do you feel the students took it in? And, you know, what were some of the highlights of the trip um, you thought for what the students were seeing? Yeah, well, when we were in Paris, I mean, when we would walk by news kiosks, I mean, we would often see uh, headlines uh, about uh, the crisis in Ukraine, kind of what was going on uh, there. Um, but I think probably the the a, a morning that really uh, stuck out to me was the morning that we were going to see the D-Day sites in, in Normandy, and and I had seen a, a picture that had post uh, been posted online. Um, from Ukraine, and it was of a anti-tank obstacle, uh, and there was a little display card uh, on it suggesting that it had been in a museum in Ukraine, and then it had been pulled out of the museum to be used against uh, invading Russian forces. Um, and then within the hour, I mean, we had seen, my class had seen, oh, I don't know, 15 or 20 of these things uh, in Normandy that were just scattered around for the tourists. Um, and uh, oof, yeah, see, seeing those, you know, a World War II remnant being repurposed in uh, in 2022 was, um, it was impactful, I, I, I think, I hope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can imagine it was. Are these kind of trips, David, do you enjoy this as like one of the pieces that Ohio Northern has where allowing students the opportunity to take a trip like this after, you know, talking about history, seeing it in person? Is, is that one of the neat things about the university? Yeah, I mean, Ohio Northern, uh, this has been an initiative for the last uh, few years that the Office of, of Global Initiatives has really been pushing these uh, international experiences. Uh, and so in addition to semester-long study abroad uh, core, uh, offerings, you know, we do, uh, ONU does offer, um, I think about a half a dozen or eight or ten um, of these faculty-led travel courses, which, uh, that, you know, there's a trip that's embedded into a, a longer a longer course. Yeah, what a neat thing. So Leah, you really appreciated being able to do this? Yeah, I was actually supposed to do one of these um, semester-ish 
study abroad type of deals before COVID hit. So my freshman year, I was supposed to actually go to Dublin, Ireland and go over there for three weeks and experience that. So this was nice to still get to go experience a different place and still have a class. Right, yeah, wow. Well, thank you guys very much for sharing some of the highlights of your trip and telling us all about it. Sally, appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Don't go away, New Edition continues in a moment.